Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you for joining me for On Top With Tea. I hope all y'all is doing fine this evening, honey. So let's just get into it. Ain't no time to be wasted, honey. Let's just get on into it. Y'all been seeing what's been going on. Y'all been seeing what's been going on. And y'all see my, my little message here that I want y'all to remember. You see that there, don't you? Everybody in church ain't good, <laughs> and everybody in jail ain't bad, and everybody in your face ain't your friend, okay? Okay, so we're going to leave that and let that sit right there, there okay? Okay. So, y'all, <laughs> so y'all, honey, I'm just coming just to talk about a couple of things. Now, I have been watching the shit show, honey. I have been watching this horrible uh what is it tr t c catastrophe <laughs> happen out loud okay because it is happening for us out loud okay it's just so much going on it is un freaking believable in these youtube scarface streets it is a disaster okay we're gonna start off with uh money short over there first okay that's what we're gonna start off with now Money short, uh, I saw yesterday she got on and she was uh just going mayhem and you know just talking and et cetera, et cetera, and saying this, that, and the third, and talking about what folks done said and what folks is trying to do to her, and, and she she wishing folks wishing on folks again, y'all. She over there, she say one thing out of her mouth that she don't do that and she didn't do this and didn't do that to nobody. But she study over there wishing uh, stuff back on folks. It's like your action speaks louder than your words, boo. We sitting up here looking at you do it every day, all day. But you want us to believe you ain't never done it and you ain't never did it to nobody. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So it's like, she don't nobody, nobody is believing her. But you guys, I'm going to start off with kind of going back. Let's kind of go back. I'm going to tell you where her problem went, what happened with her. She had this platform over there that she has now on Facebook when, when she started. Money Short had a whole bunch of faithful um, uh, subscribers to her Facebook. Okay? People liked her. People liked uh, her conversation because she was real. She was raw. And you saw everything that went on in her life happen right on the screen. That's what drew us to her because I'm pretty sure majority of us that's on here with these reaction channels, we was once, we were once watching her, but we was watching her in a positive way. We weren't watching her in a negative way, like what's going on now. <laughs> Because, but what happened was she always would get on there and she would never let nobody voice their opinion. She was, she, people would say stuff and she would, you're blocked, you're blocked, you're blocked. People got tired of that shit, honey. And they went off and started their own reaction channel. And they started talking about the shit that she had done to them. That's how this all got started. So, it, it, she actually brought it, like I said before, she brought it on herself, honey. And now it's stinking and it's too much for her. She can't handle it. It's driving her berserk. She going freaking insane. Okay. So it's like, but she, she does, she's the type of person, she don't want you giving her no type of criticism. No kind of corrective criticism, nothing. As long as you feeding her ego, you telling her she this, she that, she that, she this, she'll post it, she'll pin it, she'll do all that, 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 okay? But honey, as soon as you say some corrective stuff to her, she gets upset. But see, that's what makes me mad with these people when they get up and get a little, they get the uh, stanking, honey, feeling themselves when I say stanking. They get the smelling themselves, as the folks would say, and uh, thinking they this, that, and the 15th. <laughs> Shit, that's, that's, uh, that's on high. They think they this, that, and the damn 15th. Because they be thinking they real large. You know what I'm saying? They could be getting any kind of little change and they get the feeling they selves and they get the, they don't want nobody to tell them none, uh, no kind of corrective cor criticism. 
They don't want you to tell. They don't want you to point out shit that they done done that they know it ain't right, but they going to try to pass it through you because they think that your ears don't listen and you don't catch nothing, honey. But not knowing I catch and see everything. Okay. So they do a lot of stuff like this. And that's what pisses me off. Because when they start getting a little money, like I say, you can tell when somebody ain't used to nothing. Any kind of little change changes a person. So that they can say all that they want to say that they is and they this and that and they got this and that. Your action shows different, honey. Because you they'll flip a script on you. And you will see, you'll be like, okay, well, damn, they wasn't doing that at first. They doing this. They acting, they acting a little shade. They being a little short. They, you know, want to cut folks off and tell folks they this and that and got to go and this all. You know what I'm saying? And people catch on to that. And it's like, uh, that's what happened to uh, Money Short. That's the same exact thing that happened to Money Short. She got to smelling herself. She did not want corrective criticism. She did not want nobody asking her nothing, telling her nothing. She And she started blocking them. So now we're out here in the streets with all, they, they done, well, not we, cause I ain't, I don't, I ain't on it like that. Like they are, they're invested in it in a whole nother way. I'm not, I just come on, do my content. I ain't invested in it like that to just go just mayhem on the girl. But anyway, um, uh, she, uh, she brought it on herself. Because you have to have, when you have people on your channel, honey, and you have people watching you, why can't, why you can say something and they can't? Why can't you voice your opinion and they can't voice their opinion? That ain't fair. That ain't right. Shit, let folks say what they want to say. Let them say, that's a that's the thing about getting a channel. You want to see what folks is thinking, what they talking about. But no, you can't handle it. You can't take what people, you the people don't want to deal with themselves, honey, with they selves. That's the, that's their problem. They don't want to deal with they selves. They scared and they running from they selves. They don't even like themselves actually to tell you the truth. They do not even like themselves. So uh, when somebody start telling them a little something about they selves, they, um, they can't take it. You know what I'm saying? They can't take it. So it's just, it be, it becomes a, it becomes a problem like where we at right now. But, uh, besides that, she over there, child, um, running from herself. She went today to go get a Coke. Uh, what's the baby child? Not the baby Lord. I'm all over the place. She going to see a baby for, uh, down in Sarasota. She went to go get that damn dog. What's his name? Oreo child. I don't know why in the Sam freaking Fruit Loop hell that she won't leave Oreo ass in that damn matter of fact. Don't leave him. That man she was calling and said he wanted him. She shouldn't ask that man no damn questions. Get that dog to that man. Give that dog to that man, honey. Let him take that damn dog on the way because that dog going to get you in some shit that, honey, you ain't going to be able to uh, slide out of. Like they say, honey, you ain't going to be able to get out of it. Dory go, go get her in some shit. It ain't going to be the folks going to carry her down. It's going to be that damn crazy ass dog that's going to carry her down. I'm telling you, the dog she say, honey, this is what she said. He done bit the woman in the facility. That dog is constantly biting people. Do you know dogs that bite people, they lay them to sleep? They put dogs to sleep that bite people. The first time he bit somebody, he's supposed to actually have been put to sleep. Because when they do shit like that, they'll do it again. They'll do it in it because he has no training. He has nobody to, she needs, if she want him, put him in a place where they can train him. If he is trainable, but there, I do not believe that the damn dog is trainable. I promise I don't. And she really needs to go ahead and get out while she can. I personally, I would. That's my advice to her. Honey, get a dog away while you can. You don't have time for him. You ain't at home. You know what I'm saying? Now she want him as a guard dog. Now she got him back over there with her because she's scared to be there by herself because he do bark and he will bite. You know what I'm saying? But he's not the right kind of dog. She need to go get her a pit bull. That's what you want on these <laughs> ass. You want your pit bull, honey. You got the wrong dog. Go get something like that there. Then you'll be in the game. 
But with that dog there, that crazy ass dog right there, he ain't going to do nothing but get you in a whole bunch of shit that you can't pay your way out of or build your way out of. So I'll go on and let him go. Okay. But honey, she got on there last night. She did some fussing, this, that, and the third, and talking about uh, chopping over there. And it's just, y'all, it is, I, I, I don't, I, sometimes I don't even want to report on it because it's the same old shit day after day. It's the same old stuff day after day. It's boring to me. It has become boring. I'm I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to tell you the truth. It has become boring um, saying the same stuff that we already know that done happen with the people and with her son. They It's constantly being said every day, all day, every day, all day. It's like, okay, we know. Move on to make whatever y'all going to do, make it happen. Let's see y'all make it happen. Get her. If that's the case, do what y'all got to do to make it come to an end. But to just keep, you know, but hey, like I said, I guess, I don't know. Maybe they, they well, I know they're doing it for the money in the channel. And you know, that there in the third. So I'm going to leave that one alone, honey. I'm going to let that set there. I'm going to wear that one damn loose. Very loose. I'm going to unzip that and let that, let that set there. But honey, I see these folks got all these different people on their platform, child. All these folks on these platforms, ain't they friend, which they think they are. They're not. And that goes for a whole bunch of these reaction channels that they've been having on their platform. Them folks ain't studying them. Them folks just mad at that girl over there. And they are, they, they talking about her now, but they wasn't talking about her when they was with her. Okay? So you got to look at that because I'm going to tell y'all like this, honey. I'm going to let them go on and have this one too because every time I get on here, they done took something I said. Everybody you hit now, dig a hole, dig a ditch, uh, wad loose. And um, what's the other one? Uh, Good for the... I hate I even mentioned good for the damn goose and the gander because they done... Well, that one is driving me crazy and that's been out since my damn great-grandmama was out. But since I done resurfaced it, resurfaced it they done took it and ran with it. And I'm sick of the hearing that. I'm sick of rabbit got the gun. I'm sick of all of that. It's like, but let me go on and give them another one, child, because they sit back in the bushes and waiting to hear and, and listen. That girl, um, that girl there, she just, I, I'm just going to go on and give her some advice. She really needs to, um, to, to just get herself together, sit down and get herself together. Lead these folks alone that she think is her friend because they are not her friend. All they doing is trying to come up off her name. Okay. Like that friend of hers, um, the light skinned girl, I ain't going to call her name, but like her, she setting up over there going mayhem. She don't even, how you going to go mayhem on some, for somebody you just got with, <clears throat> you just met. And like she just, I just heard her a minute ago up into my, thank y'all. I got such and such new followers. I got this, that, and that's all she want. That's all she doing is setting up there building up her, her clientele, her subscribers off of old home girl, off a of chick, off of money short. That's all she doing, honey. That is all she doing. And I done told you, I ain't for nobody. I ain't in no group. I ain't in no click. I ain't in none of that bull crap. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm just here for the truth. Like they say, honey, we over here, we on the good side since, and we can see right from wrong, and we on the truth. We ain't on no side. We on everybody. We can go on and run along and look at everybody channel if we want to. I ain't holding nobody hostage and telling them, oh, no, stay with me. Stay with me. Don't go look over there. Don't go over there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that because I'm, I'm confident and, 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 um, well, confident enough to know everybody go do what you want to do. Cause people going to end up where they want to end up at anyway, without groups, without this and that. And the third, if you confident in yourself, so, you know, it is what it is on that one, but honey, these people and these folks, now we're going to go on back over here to this, uh, 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 I had a name for that lady. Y'all, I had a name for that older lady. Um, what was I going to call her? Child, I'm going to have to think about that too. I'm going to let y'all know. I got so much going on in my brain. I got all kind of business that I'm doing that it's just got my mind focused. But anyway, um, a lipstick woman, we're going to just say, I'm going to go on and just say that child. Everybody that claimed to be in church ain't good, right? Everybody in church ain't good. So 
We're going to leave at that right there where it says she got on there today. Now she want to be kumbaya. That woman there, I'm so glad she kind of setting down, though. No? And I believe she's setting down ever since her and Chopping and the other girl, uh, Lay, got into it. It seemed like she uh, kind of want to calm down. She talking about she want to send an olive branch out to Chopping. Child, I wouldn't be studying that woman. That woman don't want no olive branch. That woman wants some damn subscribers. That's what she wants. She don't even have her numbers posted. So it's like you don't even know where she's at. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know where her number's at. It's like, but the lady got a problem. The lady, she's still over there being sneaky. She don't want to be that girl late. Uh, she don't want to send her an olive branch. I heard her send up there. I'm not, no, I'm not. Thinking. She was mean. She was the one talking and so rude and disrespectful. How she was disrespectful. You disrespectful to her. She ain't got no reason to be respectful to you. The way you done came off talking about her and how you despise her on the low. Because you do. Because you do. You despise her, honey. You despise her on the low, little sneak peek. You, dis you despise her, honey, because you're sneaky. Yes, you are. And you sit up over there and say all kind of little stuff. And then you sit up here want to play kumbaya like you in the like you in the clear and you in the innocent. Well, you know, I just wanna, I just want to um have peace. That's all I want. I'm a peacemaker. Girl, bye. Your master sit up there and told your ass quit toting shit back to her. You ain't no peacemaker. You a you a buck you you a bucket bringing sand to the freaking beach. That's what you are. A freaking bucket bringing sand to the beach. You are not no damn peacemaker. Okay? Not at all. Not at all. Stop it. Knock it off. Find you something else to do. Because this he ain't it. Because you're slick, you're tricky and all that. Then she get on here talking about, want somebody to know. I know she talking about me because she been in the bushes. I didn't start dating people because remember I told y'all she was ran through in my opinion. I said ran through. You ran through. She heard, honey. Here she go. I didn't start dating anybody until I was 14, you know, because I had only been, I had been married and this, that, and that, and this. Girl, bye. Ain't nobody want to hear that. Yeah, sure. Show us some evidence. And then she get on there talking about her son. Because remember I said I thought that that boy was her son or her grandson. I still do. Okay. I don't care who she show me. She can show me um, I, I, damn Michael Jordan, her son or what I'm going to say. Uh, that ain't him. No, that's not him. Your son is that mad TV man, man TV or whoever he is. You, that's something to you. He is grandson, some nephew. He is something, lady. He is something, okay? Because he's just too invested and he's hungry. So he going to do anything that you want him to do. Okay, because he could have chose anybody to, to roll behind. Why would he choose you? You and he could have went over there and, and became uh Coca Cola and them friend. He would have been he, he would have been better off going to um befriend Coco than you, cause Coco's a man and he's a man. But why would he come befriend you, an older lady? That's because he knows your ass. That's why. Everybody wake up, look into stuff more than what it is. Stand back and look at the bigger picture and quit getting bamboozled and tricked and and all like that there, and see what these people really are about. Ain't full of shit as a Christmas turkey. So they, they'll be saying that one too. But anyway, they're full of shit as a Christmas turkey. Like I said, take notes. But anyway, anyway, it's just, it's unbelievable to me. It's really, it's, it's, it's tiring, y'all. The shit is tiring. Tiring. Okay. Now having content on people is a different story, but just the same stuff day in and day out. Oh my goodness. But y'all, that is just, that's just crazy. So the light-skinned girl, she gets mad because Chopping sat up there and posted her little house on uh on her community channel. Child, she up there to my, ain't it cute? Ain't it pretty? And I'm looking at the house like, what's pretty about? I mean, I mean, I didn't see nothing but just a big block, big yellow house. I mean, the house looked kind of like that thing uh Money Short moved out of that she was renting. From that lady before she moved into the farmhouse. I, she, it really did. It was just yellow. 
I mean, I didn't see it wasn't nothing spectacular about the house. It was just a house sitting on the whole on some open land and it was yellow. And I I I couldn't see nothing fly about it. I didn't see no fancy doughs. I didn't see no no bomb paint. I didn't see no no flower. I didn't see no pretty garage though. I ain't see none of it. It just looked like a typical house in Atlanta that costs two hundred and some thousand or something like that. You know, so hey, I mean, who, you know, if you're not renting, that's not much to pay. That's why a lot of people move to Atlanta because you can get a two story house for cheap. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's in their realm or in their budget. And I'm not knocking Atlanta because if that's what you want, if you want to live a certain kind of way, I suggest that everybody go there. If you want to live a certain kind of way and you can't afford to live it in other places, your best bet is to go to the South. Go to Atlanta and you can get you some property and all that, that, there, honey, for a little or nothing and live like you ain't never lived in your life. And then you could get on and say, you know, make folks think like you doing this, that, and the third, and you some. So that's what a lot of people want. So that's that for that, y'all. But yeah, honey, she got on there. She got the saying about uh the good and posted. Oh, she was hot. Now, when I say that got up under her skin about they posted where she worked, she tried to play like it didn't, but it did. It bothered her. I could hear it all in her voice. She was just nervous. She was smoking on that one. Honey, she was trembling in her voice on that one. That shit got her hot. Do you hear me? It had her on go. She was up there doing her fingers and stuff like a gangster. I was like, okay. Okay, she was mad about that, honey. They had not posted her house. But this is the thing about folks. Everybody step up to the plate, but ain't nobody eating. Because y'all stepping up to the plate like y'all about that life and y'all all that. When you, let me tell you, when you get the picking, I done set up here and I done told you. Okay, when you dig, you're going to fall. Okay, you dig one, you might as well dig another one because you're going to hit it before they do. Because you cannot set up here and start shit and then get scared when people get to digging in your closet, pulling out all your clothes, your shoes, your pocketbooks, your tuck, your tuck secret letters, your damn dirty drawers, your dildos and all that, that there with your skeletons in your closet, if you know what I'm talking about. When people get to digging in your closet, pulling out all your skeletons, honey, all the stuff you got tucked in there and hidden from company and everybody else, okay, uh, you want to get upset. No, don't get in it. Don't get in the game, honey, if you can't handle it. You got to be you gotta be ready to, 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 to handle it, honey. Stand up, honey. Be ready for it. Be ready for anything they bring. You got to be ready for it, boo-boo. When you out here in the East, call yourself out here in these streets. And that goes for the YouTube Scarface streets and all of that that there. You got to be ready. You can't sit up there and uh, bow down once they get on you and get to talking about you going to call they. No, you should. If you was about that life, you would have did all that from the beginning. See, I would have beat them to the punch. I would have got on them before they got mine because you knew it was coming. You out here talking all this mucho macho stuff like you that chick, honey, that mouth. Like I done sit up here and told everybody that thing between your face, that pink thing in your face. Gonna get you in a whole bunch of shit you can't get out of, honey. That you're gonna get you, don't have you writing a check, your ears <clears throat> can't cash. So they all need to sit down and stop it. Stop it. Because when people get to digging in your stuff, y'all can't handle it. Y'all don't want none then. Y'all wanna back out. Y'all wanna get upset. Oh, I'm finna go and do this. I'm gonna get what she stay. I'm gonna get her number. I'm gonna get her full name. I'm gonna get this, this, that, and the third. Who, if your stuff was right, you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care if somebody was digging and I'm on here talking mucho, mucho, mucho bull crap. And then they get the digging. It's like, okay, if your stuff is right, you ain't going to be worried. They going to, when they, when they finish digging from you, they going to say, okay, this bitch got us stuff together. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm just telling you, if you ain't ready for it, leave it alone. Honey, leave it alone. If y'all ain't ready for the Scarface streets out here, honey, leave it alone. Because y'all don't want it. Y'all do not want it. Ain't nobody about it. They talk about it, but they ain't. People who don't talk about it, that's who about it. So, 
they need to stop with that one. I just be sitting back looking. Like they say, honey, I don't be in the bushes shit. I be sitting up there in the um in the flower bed. <laughs> I be <laughs> y'all, I be in the flower bed peeping in the window. I ain't gonna be in the damn bushes, honey. I'm gonna be in the flower bed peeping in the window. Okay, looking like okay, this is the bullshit that's happening. This is what's going down on these streets. But you guys, it is crazy. But yeah, honey, she got the good there over there helping her. But that girl, her friend, the light skinned girl, should have just just chilled. But you know, she ain't gonna do it because she needed the subscriptions, she needed the followers, she needed all of that. So that that was her motive. That was her motive. So we can leave that one alone. And then that old that old woman of the older lady over there, she's setting up over there. I'm gonna analyze it and gather it all up, y'all. She's setting up over there, call herself like she a peacemaker, and which we know that is not true. She can forget that. She can just start anew because we all know she ain't about nothing that's got to do with good. I done told her once she ought to go on there and change her channel to negativity TV. Get rid of that, you know, the other one, because that is not her. She done scarred herself. Her name is tarnished. She, in my opinion, she's a wrap. She's done because ain't nobody going to look at her in the same light. And I'm pretty sure in my opinion, okay, me analyzing everything that I'm seeing on here, her number shows. So she needs to stop. She really needs to stop. And, um, and like the yellow girl said, well, she said her, her, she done got so many followers because of drama. People like drama. People don't want to hear good sense. People want to set up and hear drama. They really do. They like drama pays. Like somebody on my thing be saying drama pays and drama do. Drama does pays, but it's a certain way that you go about the drama. It's a certain way to do it. And you know, you just can't keep just can't keep twisting the handle because after a while, in my opinion, it becomes redundant. It becomes boring. And that's just what's going on in this situation. It's becoming boring. And everybody is pulling folks in on, on you know, just pulling everybody, just gathering up everybody. What you think? What you saying? What you saying over here? Who is this? Come on here. Tell me this. Tell me that. And they, it's just all over the place because you got all these people just all over the place. Everybody coming in, coming in. It's like it's taken away, but people are trying to get on the bandwagon what's hot. You know what I'm saying? They getting on what's hot. They done left their reaction channels. They ain't over there doing they stuff. They over there, they trying to get on this one because this is what's hot. You feel what I'm saying? This is what's hot. And a lot of these people on here have, they pick and chooses. They pick and choose who they want to uh, do this for and do that for and talk to and put on and this, that, and the third. I've been watching that too. I see that. They have their little pick and chooses. And it's just like, I'm going like, okay, okay. This here is like in, like you say, in high school. It's like in high school. That's just how they, that's just how they're reacting like they in high school, but money uh, brings out a whole different ball game in people. You know what I'm saying? It brings out a whole different get down in people when they're not used to it. When they're not used to money, you will see a whole nother side of them. They'll start doing, they'll start reaching and doing shit that you never thought they'll do child because they want that money. They done, they done got used to a little better life and doing the little stuff that they couldn't do. They ain't really struggling as hard. You know what I'm saying? To make ends meet. So they gonna do anything, uh, do anything under any mean, under any means necessary. And that goes for a lot of them. Now, about this girl over here, I'm trying to hit on everybody, y'all, before I uh, get off of here, you guys. Uh this Sha this what's her name? Thoughts, Shonda Thoughts or something like that. Uh, I've never well, I watched her twice i think i've watched her twice i have never i hadn't even heard of her until these people mentioned her and i actually end up um checking her out twice and uh she's on the girl side over there she's on the other folk side over there her and um that woman her and old lady buddies home girls and that that's been a that that's a they got on her they done set her down she ain't been out. I ain't heard nothing else from her. I ain't I ain't heard lipstick over there calling her name. 
Because any other time she'd be, oh, no, 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 she ain't been calling her name, honey. She ain't been calling her name, so they done set her down. Because, child, they on there talking about she on kidney and drinking. Just, oh, honey, when I say these folks done went in these folks' closet and done took out every damn thing they own, honey, and done put it out on display for them. <laughs> And now they in hiding. They done took their ass and hid, y'all. They done hid because the folks done went in the closet and done put them on display. Now, ain't that a cold piece of work? That is a cold piece of work, honey. Done put them on display, okay, for the world to check them out. And now they scared. They hiding. They in fear of being ashamed and embarrassed because they skeletons is walking up out of the closet, okay? They ain't, ain't nobody got to bring the skeletons out. Them damn skeletons walking out the closet. Them folks that open that closet and them skeletons walking out. Them folks know they got some skeletons in their closet. It's unbelievable, but they want to get on here and start shit. If you want to start shit, be ready and be prepared for anything to go down, y'all. That's all I'm saying, honey. But y'all, I'm so glad y'all be rocking with me and waiting for me. I just appreciate you guys, um, all your, 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 your cash apps, your thoughts, your, your, your sayings, your, um, uh, just everything you guys do is just, you guys are really some good people, honey. Y'all some good folks, child. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I love you guys. So I'm so glad that you guys are still here and hanging in there. But like I say, you guys, I'm going to be twisting mine and talking about something else and this, that, and the third. Oh, yeah. And before I go, matter of fact, speaking on something else, y'all, what do y'all think, honey, about that rapper that was standing up in the club? What y'all think about that? Because I just, uh, I, I don't understand it. I have never, okay, never. <laughs> seen nothing like that before honey and the mama did an interview the boy mama had did an interview for the news do you know she said that that is what he would have wanted he would have wanted everybody to turn up and not be sad and have a home going and just turn up child let me tell y'all something here before like i say before i uh skedaddle <laughs> Honey, y'all better stop letting these folks control y'all from the grave. That's what you might want to not do. Quit letting these folks control y'all answers from the grave. Honey, do what you want. They gone on. Honey, when you ban folks, that's for you. That's that's gonna, that's gonna for you to ease your mind, okay? Who you think gonna set up there? Stay to the, the traditional way. Child, go on and put them in the thing, have the church, you know, and, and the, whatever y'all gonna have at the, at the, at the, 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 the graveyard, have the pastor. Stick to the traditional way, the classic way. Don't go here with standing folks up in, in, in places, sitting on bikes and, uh, uh, sitting at the, uh, the office table because they liked it to work at the office, uh, uh, pushing a grocery cart in the grocery store because they loved to go grocery shop. Now, if we see some shit like that, y'all, I am leaving. America. I'm going to be done because that's some shit that's unbelievable. When I saw that, I said, okay, now we have reached a new low because I just, I just couldn't believe it. The boy was standing up, honey, had the boy standing up like he was dead child on a rod while the folks was partying around. Now, you know, if that ain't the devil's den, I couldn't tell you what was in my opinion. That's just in my opinion. I just, I'm just analyzing what I saw, honey, giving you my opinion on the content. I thought it was, I thought it was unbelievable. It was just, un, it was foreign to me because I've never seen nothing like that. But you guys let me know what y'all think about that and how did y'all feel about seeing that. And uh, if y'all don't know who he is or what he is, just put in on YouTube while you already on here, the rapper that was stood up in the uh in the club the 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 deceased rapper that they had standing up in the club y'all the same honey it come right up pop right up so i thought that i'd share that there with you honey on some real celebrities and kind of you know move on to something else 
But anyway, you guys, I am so glad you guys came through. Um, make sure that you subscribe and share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I say, it's free. So make sure that you guys subscribe, honey. And I will be back with you guys with some more content. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, peace.